Hi Razor X, we are so excited for you to be joining us on this You Are Home Live today, um, getting all things ready for a move in 2023. My name is Jordan Frederick-King, I am the Assistant Director for Greek Housing um, here at the University of Arkansas, but I am helping out with all of the logistics that is move in to hopefully answer all the questions that, that you may have. Um, so to just get us started, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you can expect when you get here um, and what arrival will look like when you come to the University of Arkansas for your move-in this week. Um, so you will follow the, um, the routes that are listed on the UARC, um, the movein.uark.edu website that will take you straight to the residence hall where you will be moving in at. Follow the map, follow the signs and the um, colored flags that you'll see along the way. Those will get you right where you need to be. You'll park in your um, designated parking lot and you will have about 30 minutes to unload. Um, with the arrival pass that you received in the mail, make sure that's in your window um, so that you're ready to go. But if you don't have one, that's okay. We will have some extra ones there for you um, that we will write you right on the spot. You'll use your 30 minutes to- here's an example of one. Oh, here's a great example of one. <laughs> this is what an arrival pass looks like. Um, again, if you don't have this, that's okay. We will have these blank ones here for you and we'll write one for you um, when you arrive. Um, <clears throat> once you are parked and you are unloaded, um, you'll have 30 minutes again to get all your belongings up to your residence hall. Um, you'll check in, get your keys. We will have a couple volunteers that might be around to help you move in, but it will be pretty limited. So you'll be expected to, to move all your belongings um, on your own. Uh, we'll have a couple dollies. We might have some carts at different residence halls that you can check out if you have your ID with you to be able to do so. Um, then you will take your car and move it to your parking location, um, which will be either lot 56 or it will be in a parking garage. And that will be where your car can remain until the lots reopen at the end of the week. Um, that is what you'll do when you arrive here for move-in, um, just kind of generally speaking. Um, a couple other things you might want to think about throughout the week is that it's going to be very hot. It's been really hot here in Fayetteville the past week or so, so dress accordingly. Make sure you drink water. Make sure you have all of the appropriate clothing on so that you are comfortable when you're moving in. Um, also make sure that you don't arrive with any U-Hauls uh, um, for all of your belongings. Hopefully all of your stuff can kind of fit in your car, two cars, if that is what you provide. Um, but no U-Hauls. You your U-Haul will be sent to another parking lot if you arrive with one. Um, the other important thing to remember is that while we do love our precious animals that we have at home, no pets <laughs> are uh, allowed um, in your residence hall. If you do have an assistance animal, um, you will need to register that with the Center for Educational Access and you can find that information on their website. Um, but otherwise, leave, leave your pets at home. Um, when you're moving in, there will be designated locations where you can um, throw away your trash in the dumpster from excess stuff that you brought. Um, but we also know people like to bring all their things straight from Amazon um, and you're going to have a lot of boxes. Make sure to put those in the designated cardboard locations that are located at each um, residence hall. We do have one quick question. Oh, great. Um, someone asked, why can't we park in the lot paid for and when can we park there? Yeah, that's a really great question. So during the week of move-in, we are moving in a lot of students kind of all at once. So it's really helpful if we can utilize the parking lots for the move-in process and then let everybody move, um, move their car back into their lot that they paid for at the end of the week. So starting as soon as move-in is done on Saturday, which is usually in the late afternoon, um, the lots will reopen and you will be given the go-ahead to bring your car back to your designated parking lot. Um, it really helps us out, it really helps out um, your friends and your fellow students who are moving in on different days to be able to have access to the parking lot, to unload their things, and then take it to the um, lots to hang out until Saturday. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, some other things that you can expect while you're here um, throughout the week, there will be emails going out um, the day before your designated move-in date with some extra information, a lot of the same info that I'm describing to you right now, but with some other reminders as well of what you can expect. So be on the lookout for those emails, go into your UARC email directly. Someone asked um, if you have a Garland Pass, can you leave your card there? Um, if you have a Garland Pass, um, you can leave your car there, um, but those spots will get full as well because Garland is in a huge parking garage. And parents are also parking there during the day. Yes, and parents will be parking there during the day as well. Great question. 
look like you might be reading another one. I am, I am. Just a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll keep chatting a little bit about what can happen af next, like after moving is all done. We have a great event on campus called A Week um, that is hosted by New Student Family Programs. Make sure and check out their social media channels and their website. Um, for all the events that are going on. So this will be a great way for you to get to know campus, get to know your fellow students, fellow residents, um, and do some fun things before classes start. Um, a really great event that we love, especially is Taste of Fayetteville. Um, we're out on the Union Mall. There are um, vendors from all over Fayetteville that come and they bring samples and food, um, things that you get to try. And it is so much fun and it's such a great way to get to know all of the local cuisines here at Northwest Arkansas. I got that question figured out now. Um, someone asked, and I think it's just a little bit misinformation right here. Um, they only have a pass for Garland, and they're asking how are they going to move all of their stuff from Garland to their dorm in 30 minutes. Gotcha. So. Yeah, that is a really great question. So if you think back a little bit to what I was describing earlier, when you are arriving to campus and you are coming to the residence hall that you are going to be moving in at, you will be able to park in that parking lot to unload all of your belongings, and then you will be expected to move um, your car to either a garage or to lot 56. So um, I'm, if you have a Garland garage pass, I'm assuming you're on the north side of campus, so you might be Reed, the Maples, or Northwest Quad, Volcomer Futural. Um, so again, look at the route maps that are on our movein.uark.edu uh, website. Um, look for your route that you need to go in, follow the signs, follow the, the flags, and go straight to that parking lot. Unload in 30 minutes and then move your car. And then at the conclusion of the week, again, you'll be able to move your car back to that parking lot if you have to. So and it's almost like there's two phases. There's the arrival and, un and unload phase, and then there's the parking yes, phase. Yes, yes. And to clarify, let's say you're at Duncan Avenue Apartments, you would use Harmon parking That's garage? correct. So Harmon Garage will be for our center uh, part of campus, um, specifically Duncan Apartments. It's right across the street, so that's easy access right there. And another clarification, um, do they need a parking pass in order to park in that garage before, you know, that Saturday comes they can go to their designated spot? Like, do they need a pass for that time period? For the parking garage? For the parking garage? Yeah. Um, during move-in? Yeah. Um, no, so you are able to during the week of move in from Wednesday to Saturday, you can park. Um, parents are typically parking in the, the Garland garage um, or in lot 56 um, or one of the other like adjacent student lots that are around campus. You just can't park in the lot that is directly in front of your residence hall. Um, but then starting on Saturday, you must have a student parking pass for your zone that you probably already have by now or you've already signed up for with transit and parking. That's when you'll be able to start parking your actual parking lot. Awesome. No other questions yet. Someone Any asked questions? where lot 56 is. Do you Yeah, know? lot 56 is um, on the edge of campus on the corner of Razorback um, and kind of off Stadium Drive. It's our biggest parking lot, so you really can't miss it. If you've ever been to a Razorback football game, you probably parked there um, and made the walk um, to uh, the, the stadium that way. Uh, the good thing about lot 56 is that we will have, um, even though it is kind of far away, maybe from campus there are shuttles golf cart shuttles that will be driving from designated shuttle stops um, including from lot 56 so if you um, unload your your stuff in your car then you go park in lot 56 you can hop on the golf cart shuttle um, and then it, that shuttle will take you wherever you need to go back to your residence hall um, speaking of golf cart shuttles there will be um, stops peri like situated throughout campus so look for those if you do need to get around or you need to um, get back to wherever you're trying to go after parking. Um, there'll be some in central part of campus, there'll be some on the north side and um, in the south side as well where lot 56 is. Um, someone asked if they've already bought their parking pass, um, where do they get the pass? I believe that's just with your license plate. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, so we don't have physical parking passes at the University of Arkansas anymore. It is associated with your license plate. Um, so if you've purchased it online and you've given them all your information, you should be good to go. Um, and if you have any further questions about your pass or knowing what zone you need to be parking in or whatever, then you should look on their transit and parking website for more information. Which is parking.uark.edu. Parking.uark.edu. And someone asked about login for Speed Queen for laundry. That is just your login credentials, generally speaking, like your UARC email and password. Um, and your account is already created for you. So you'll just use that to sign in. And if there's any issues, you can reset your password. You do have to choose the right university, right? Like yes. When you first log in, you have to choose yeah. University of Arkansas, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, someone asked about what if they haven't gotten their student ID yet? Then the campus card office will be open throughout mm -hmm. the week of move-in, um, so you'll be able to hop over there. Um, they're located in the Union mm -hmm. still. Yep. And will they need that before they can move their stuff in? Uh, no, you need to be able to provide a ID um, so that we can check and make sure we, we are checking in the right person. So if you have your license, that would be great. If you have your student ID, that's also great, but don't feel any pressure. You'll have time to go get it before classes start. Perfect. No other questions so far. Great. One question we get a lot is when do uh, meal plans begin? Meal plans begin starting on Thursday. Perfect. And yes. all of the dining halls will be open starting on Thursday. It will be very busy, so plan accordingly. Um, we do have a lot of women on campus who are going through sorority recruitment, so that will be kind of busy, but we also will have lots of guests and parents, so plan your stop at the dining hall accordingly. Can we uh, tell our Maple Hill South people what they need to watch for? Yes, um, so Maple Hill South, um, the, the route that you take to get into your parking lot is a little interesting. Um, so when you are coming down on the service road at Maple and Garland, you're gonna take a right and then you're gonna take another right. You're gonna follow what we call the snake. Um, there will be RAs there, there will be staff in there that will help point you in the right direction that will take you to turning right into the Reed parking lot, which is where you will move in Reed in combination with Reed and Maple South. And that is only Friday and Saturday, right? Yes, Friday and Saturday. Uh, we have another meal plan question. Um, it says they got 15 per week, but then it says $85, and they don't know what that is. I believe that's dining dollars. Yes. Do you want to talk about that? Yes, so if your meal plan has two different kind of numbers with it, so a per week number and then a actual dollar amount, um, that, 15, that 15 per week that you mentioned, that is what you will, how many meals you will get to use, and then 85 is the dining dollars that you can use at other retail locations on campus that don't um, take, you know, a meal swipe. So um, that would be like Hill Coffee, you could use that there. Um, there's the Club Red. Club Red, which is kind of like a convenience store in the Union. Um, it's essentially like tax-free cash. Yes, yes, yes. But when it's gone, it's gone, and then you can reload it if you'd like to, if you run through it too fast. Perfect. Great question. So no other questions so far. Make sure if you do have questions, send them in the chat and we can ask. Yeah. Um, who do we ask if Speed Queen won't let us log in? Who should they contact? Um, That's a great I, question. Yeah, I think, I think I would email housing at uart.edu or call our direct number. Mm -hmm. That would be the best way and to get And those are on the website. They yes. are. They are. Yeah, call our direct number or email us directly. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Perfect. Let's see, anything else? Anything I'm missing? Let's see. <laughs> um, you know, we try, we try to recycle a lot, so we mm -hmm. mentioned the cardboard. Yes. Um, I think one of the things we've recommended is, if you can, break down your stuff into as many, as few boxes as you can. Yes. Yes. That and is helpful if you are able to break down your own recycling before you put it in the designated area. Um, it does get full very quickly, and we do have um, a team of staff who are able to help us out every day, but they're really breaking down a lot of boxes. So before you bring it down from your room and put it in the, the cardboard location, try and break it down for us. That would be really helpful. Yeah, yeah. It's a pay it forward thing. Someone asked about if they're allowed to bring a mini fridge. You are allowed to bring a mini fridge. Um, there are designated dimensions that are listed on our um, UARC, movein.uark.edu website. So I'd make sure and check it out there. But the pretty standard mini fridge that you can find at Walmart or Target that's like about waist high like that would be about the size that you can you can bring and are they allowed to um have family members help them unload their stuff yeah we would love to have family <laughs> members um helping move stuff um you're limited to two cars per family so uh, plan that accordingly as far as how um, everybody's going to ride with all of your things but yes if you have family members that are there to help um that's great um, again, be really conscious of the weather and be really conscious of what building you're in. Most of our buildings do have some kind of service elevator, but some of them don't. So mm -hmm. um, be, be aware if you have relatives that maybe don't need to be moving in during those spaces. That would be really important to think about. Um, but otherwise, we really love having family members in here helping. And I'm glad you mentioned the elevators, too, because in Palm Frit, for example, there's some sort of confusion about the elevators. We have Palm Frit elevators in D, but not, no in B, but not C and D, right? Mm. Yes. yes, yes, and so, um, you know, and the, the elevators, when there's a lot of students moving in, they can be slow too, mm -hmm. so you may end up going upstairs, so 
I'm just being conscious of that. Um, will they have carts for move-in? There are carts and dollies, but they are very dependent on each building, um, and we have a finite number. So um, once they're checked out, they're checked out. But if you, once you kind of check in, you'll have the opportunity to get your keys, um, and then they will. The check-in table will direct you to where the dolly and cart checkout is, and then you can provide them your ID and check it out as well. We do ask that you know you are efficient in your move-in and that you're utilizing those and then bringing them back as quickly as you can, so that the next student can use them as well. Yes, and I would add, if you have hall-specific questions, we did do an entire series, um, You Are Home Live, for specific dorms. You can watch those on our Instagram page right here under Reels or on YouTube or our move-in website. Um, so such as hanging curtains or what walls are made of, all of those questions as well as dimensions are talked about there. Awesome. Well, I don't think we have any other questions. It's so. exciting. Great. It's happening. We're so excited to have you all here. I'm so excited for you all um, to be on this journey and joining us at the University of Arkansas. So um, I think that's it for me. If there are no more questions, then I'll sign off. And we look forward to seeing you later this week. Awesome. Bye, guys. See you soon.